every five beats that any drummer on the face of this earth play three of those beats will always belong to Papa Joe. He's the pioneer. Papa Joe is one of the milestones of jazz, one of the paragons of the music, best known as part of the all-American rhythm section that we associate with Count Basie. From 1977 to 1985, Albert Murray and Joe Jones sat down and recorded 14 taped interviews with the idea of using these interviews for a book. My name is Paul Devlin. The name of the book is Riftide, The Life and Opinions of Papa Joe Jones, as told to Albert Murray. You know, Jones always said it was him and Basie, it was piano and drums, you know, that drove the band. He's the heartbeat of that quartet. He both plays better than anyone, but he also makes the others play better than they can. Joe Jones could give you a sense of tone and nuanced near notes, if not notes themselves. He's as important an innovator to the gear of the drum equipment and how it's used as anyone who could be named. If you touch that hi-hat, that's Papa Joe Jones. If you pick up the brushes, that's Papa Joe Jones. It's the closest thing to breathing that's ever happened on the drums, and it's just so thrilling. Uh, but he's also a great man in his own right. He's a natural born teacher. He's the greatest drummer who ever lived. He understood that he could use his skills and knowledge about the art form he was dominant in to expand your being as a human. Joe Jones was a very complex man. He was uh, a ribald and, and, and bawdy comedian, and he was also a moral philosopher. I fear God. I got foreign religions and 500 cults. <laughs> He's also unusual in the sense that he was, in his own way, a self-conscious intellectual. I've just been always a, a seeker after knowledge. I mean, I always would try to get my dictionary and find a word. Joe Jones was a master of the American language. You see, I'm a nut. The harder they are, the bigger they fall. <laughs> it's very important to have a sense of this peculiar voice of his. I used to hobo, I hobo with my drums, man. One of the reasons why you should read the book is to find out why things were always so personal with Joe Jones. He made it his business to be inside your head, your heart, and to add to your content. Let the stick play instead of the stick play you. An original, self-made, all-American character, uh, the likes of which we'll never see again. Mm -hmm.